All right, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Robert Reynolds. I'm a PM lead on uh, the Azure Pack team uh, and the Azure Stack team. Um, <clears throat> normally, I, I, I've done a joint session that's roadmap and then partners, and uh, here we've actually split them into two sessions. So we're going to talk about uh, what's going on in the ecosystem, and then uh, if any of you join me for the roadmap session, I'm not going to fail at a large demo again. I'm going to let partners show you working demos. So uh, next, I'd like to bring up Ravi. He's been working with this, actually used to be on the uh, Azure Websites team, um, and worked with us on the early Azure Pack release of websites. Um, He's now the CEO and co-founder of CloudAssert, and we've been working with Ravi on providing VMware integration. You get asked about it a lot, um, and, and Ravi's been working to deliver that, so I'll let him talk to you about that. Hello, everyone. My name is Ravi. I'm from CloudAssert. Uh, to give a quick overview of what we do at CloudAssert, we do solutions and services for cloud, specifically targeting Azure Pack, we have line of products on top of Azure Pack. vConnect is the product that we released last year. Since then, it has been deployed uh, by many customers in production across the globe. Uh, it integrates VMware vCenter with Azure Pack. We will see a demo today shortly. We also have a solution for backups. It integrates with Veeam in the backend to provide virtual machine backups for both system center-based VMs and VMware-based VMs. We also released a solution for usage and billing. It provides utility-based or metered billing for any resource and all services within Azure Pack. Uh, it, ha it provides a flexible model for administrators to define multiple pricing profiles. You can match the pricing profile to different plans in Azure Pack. Uh, that's usage and billing. In addition to these line of uh, solutions that we have, we also do a lot of custom development. Specifically, we have done a number of custom resource provider development for customers to enable bringing in your existing service or new service and integrate them inside Azure Pack to provide single pane of glass experience for your end users through Azure Pack. So with that, let's take a deep look into uh, vConnect. vConnect provides a top class support, first class support for VMware vCenter inside Azure Pack. It comes with a robust deployment engine for provisioning the virtual machines in VMware, for managing them. It has complete set of VM management and provisioning capabilities right within both admin portal and the tenant portal of Azure Pack. We built VM V connected with an intention to make it fully customizable and flexible for administrators to define extend and customize the entire VM provisioning and management workflow. We will see how that helps uh, shortly in the demo. So what this extensibility provides, it provides the flexibility for the administrators to do simplify the VM provisioning for your end users so they do not have to go through like a lot of configurations, a lot of you know, process. So with that, let's see a quick demo. So most of you are aware that Azure Pack comes with two portals, admin portal and a tenant portal. So what we are seeing here is the admin portal. So I have vConnect deployed already. Uh, there is a basic settings tab where you configure vConnect. After you configure vConnect, the next step is to integrate or connect to your VMware vCenter environments. So vConnect provides support for adding multiple connections to your uh, multiple vCenters or to different clusters within the same vCenter. Uh, this enables you to target different customers into different clusters. After you add the connections, the next step is to bring or expose the VM templates. They are the VM images that you want to expose to your end users so they can provision VMs on top of it. So what we have done here, we have taken the VM templates from vCenter, and we have put our own layer on top of it, enabling you to customize and provide like default values and whatnot on top of that. So let's take a quick look at 
one of the templates. Uh, so when you add or edit a template, you select the connection, and we automatically go and query all the templates that are available in vCenter. You can select one of them. You can provide a friendly name. And then in the subsequent steps, from this admin portal, you can configure some of the default parameters that you want to apply for the VM provisioning. For example, you can specify the VM network. You can select the IP address mode. You can also specify the uh, data store on which you want to place these VMs. Uh, you can specify if you want uh, these VMs to be created on, let's say, flash storage. Uh, you can do that. And uh, we also added functionality where, as an admin, you can decide which parameters you want to let your tenant users to override and which parameters are optional versus mandatory. So in addition to these standard parameters, like the sysprep or configuration parameters, you can also add your own custom parameters, right? So let's say you want to get an additional input from your end users. So we have built this interface where you can say, uh, let's call it as placement policy. Uh, so you can add your own custom parameters. And these parameters are available for you in the back end in a PowerShell script where you can leverage and customize the flow. So that's VM templates. Once we have the connections and the templates configured, now you can add vConnect to an existing Azure Pack plan or create a new plan and add vConnect as one of the available services. So this is the plan settings for vConnect. In here, you can provide the quota settings uh, which restricts the amount of CPU cores your tenant users can use, memory, and we have a bunch of other settings for backups and snapshots as well. In here, you can also select or associate the vCenter endpoint you want to associate with this plan. So this is how you kind of target different customers into different vCenter environments. So once we have the plan configured, now your tenant users can go subscribe to the plan, start leveraging the vConnect. Let's switch back, switch to the tenant portal, and see how the tenant experience looks like. So I have already logged in as a tenant user here. In order to create a new virtual machine, I come here, click Create, select a subscription, give a name, demo. I can select a compute size. Uh, and I can also select from the list of available templates, one of the templates. When I select the templates, this wizard automatically fills the subsequent steps with the required parameters that my administrator has defined to get it from me. So in this case, the only thing that I have to provide as a tenant user is the admin password. OK. So now that request has been submitted to the vConnect service in the back end. It is talking to uh, vCenter and provisioning the VM. So while that's happening, let's take a look at some of the common functionalities, management operations, that your tenant users can do from the tenant portal. So there are the standard power management operations, uh, like reset, reboot, su suspend, shutdown, et cetera. You can also connect to uh, the VM through RDP. We have also added support for snapshots. So you can write from this tenant portal, your tenant users can create snapshots in VMware for this VM. You can also drill down into a VM view. So this provides a little bit more details on the IP address and a bunch of other stuff. You can also manage your snapshots from here. Uh, if you want to revert to a snapshot or if you want to like delete the snapshots, you can do that from here. If you have backups enabled, if your administrator has configured the backup with Veeam in the backend, the backups tab will light up. And right from the tenant portal, you can edit a backup job or create a backup job and attach the VM to that job. So it's all pretty straightforward from the single view of your VM you can do everything as a tenant user.
You can also reconfigure the VM. Um, as a tenant user, if you want to scale up, uh, you can do that right here as well. So these are some of the standard things you could do. But we have also added an, another feature where as an admin, if you want to add your own functionality, let's say you want to provide the ability for your tenant users to submit a support request. We can do that as well. So let me switch back to the admin portal. So what we call this as a custom command feature, where as an administrator, you can define any new functionality that you want for your enterprise, for your end users. So let's go ahead. Let's call this as support request. And you can provide a script that will get executed whenever this command is invoked by the end user. Okay. In addition to just adding this PowerShell execution type of flow, we also added support for you to get additional inputs from your end user. So now you can add an additional parameter. Let's say if you want to get the type of the support issue, issue type, issue type. Please provide an issue type. Let's make that as configurable by the tenant. Save that. OK. So now let's switch back to the tenant portal and see how the experience looks here. I'm going to refresh the portal. It will take a little bit to come up. Um, while that's happening, let's look at another extensibility point uh, that we have in vConnect. Like I was mentioning before, the entire VM provisioning management, all this workflow is available for you to customize. So let's say the way we create and call vCenter, if you want to augment that or if you want to change the way we, for example, add the network adapter, when you get the license, you get, ex you get these scripts exposed so you can modify the way we actually provision the VMs as well, uh, right from the PowerShell scripts. So let's go back. OK. So now, if you notice, we now got this commands. It's an additional thing that we just did in the admin portal. When I click that, I have this additional command for uh, getting the support, uh, submitting the support request. And it has the parameter that I asked for. Let's say network issues with the VM and submit. So this calls the script in the backend and it submits the request. And I have a script, if I have typed the script name correctly, that will get executed in the backend. And you can do whatever you want in that script. Let's say you have a support system in your enterprise. You want to just you know, call some scripts or post to that. You can do that. So in this case, I was just sending an email through that script. Um, so when I clicked this custom command, it sent an email to my support alias. And then I got all the information from the, uh, the, from the user input, basically. So within a few clicks, what I wanted to demonstrate here is as an admin, you added functionality without writing any UI or changing the UI code. Uh, so this is the level of flexibility we want to provide, and Azure Pack helps us to do that. With that, let's switch to the demo. Sorry, the. Okay. So, the different components that helped us to do that, um, as I mentioned, we have the admin and tenant portal UI extensions. So, vConnect comes with the built-in extensions for both the portals. We have a central API and management service. This service can be installed on multiple computers for load balancing and high availability purposes. So this interacts with VMware vCenter for management and provisioning. Uh, it, this service also interacts with Veeam to provide backups. It also works with System Center 
for, again, uh, providing virtual machine backups for system center VMs. So with that, uh, thanks again for listening to uh, this. And if you are interested in vConnect, or if you are interested in a usage utility-based billing for Azure Pack, or if you have an idea that you would like to integrate into Azure Pack, contact me. And you can also register at the URL there. Uh, thank you very much.